All right, let's go out to Omaha, Nebraska, and if anybody can talk me out of a dilemma, it's this guy, Dave Esker. He's the head coach of the Stanford men's baseball team. And Dave, first of all, hey, happy Father's Day to you. Yeah, thanks, Vern. Same to you. Uh, I, I imagine since you're working and I'm working, we don't have like the normal get up, have breakfast with the kids, go for a hike, and enjoy a relaxing Sunday afternoon. But hey, that's just that's just the profession we chose, right? Well, I'm watching a lot of baseball. I'm, I'm watching a lot of Auburn baseball today, so we're getting ready for tomorrow's ball game. And uh, no, not your normal Father's Day for sure. One thing about Saturday's game with Arkansas, isn't that just, just one of those games where, hey, that, that's, that's baseball. I mean, you hit the ball hard. It was just at somebody. I'm going to tell you what, they positioned us well. I mean, we struck out once. We put a lot of good swings on balls. Uh, unfortunately, you know, the wind was blowing straight in from center field. And we could, uh, we hit it. We drove a couple balls that looked like they were going to be out. It just wasn't our day. And I thought they did a good job of pre preparing for us. And, you know, when the game got to seven or eight and, and we used a little bit of our backline pitching, we just weren't able to hold it down. And it got a little out of hand. Well, let's talk about this journey because there's almost 300 Division I baseball programs, only eight get to make the College World Series, and then you've gone back for a second straight year. What does it speak about this program you got? Well, we've got some great players. That, that's first and foremost. And I've got great assistant coaches who get these guys ready to play at the, at the highest level. And, uh, you know, yesterday didn't go our way, but, God, this is a team that's won the Pac-12 title, won the Pac-12 tournament, won the regional, and won a super regional to get here to Omaha. So we earned it. We earned our way here. Uh, we didn't have a game that we we would like yesterday, but we got a chance to redeem ourselves tomorrow. Just a little bit about you, because uh, there's no one more experienced with the College World Series than you as a player and a coach. What's it like personally for you to return just uh, doing the X's and O's, having been part of a national champion, wearing that uniform? Yeah, you know, I, I've been blessed. I've been I've been here twice as a player. Um, been here as an assistant coach, and I've been lucky enough to bring two different teams as a head coach here. It it never it never gets old. You love it every time. This town is amazing the way they open up to the, the college world series, and you know you walk around town, they they recognize you out of the blue as uh, being one of the eight teams, and so it's it's special every time. Um, I think I liked it more as a player when I was just you know had to had to calm my own nerves down and get ready to play, and then kind of lose myself in the game kind of worrying about uh, R9 plus the rest of the guys of our team. It's, it's a little more daunting, but just as fun. Tell us about your outfielder, Brock, because when I look at him, uh, he, he, he just looks like a big leaguer, kind of the way yeah. he carries himself. He kind of, kind of has that aura about him. Yeah, we're fortunate. We get to see Brock Jones here in college baseball, but eventually he'll be playing Major League Baseball, much like there's, there's guys out there right now from Stanford that you're seeing, whether it's uh, Piscotti or Lowry. Uh, those are former Stanford players, and – and just in a long line of Stanford great players that make that transition from college baseball to professional baseball. And Brock Jones is going to be another one of those. Last one for me, as you get the guys in the clubhouse and you kind of see the intensity in their eyes before they kind of run out there for warmups, what will your message be? It's a big atmosphere and it's important to them. But the key thing for me is can they just relax and just, and just enjoy being out there and kind of let their talents rise to the top and be competitive and, you know, kind of embrace the confrontation that baseball is. And I'm looking forward to that tomorrow because um, I'm not ready to let, let this team finish and have this year finish. I love coaching this team and love being around the kids. And, and I keep asking them to give me just one more day of practice and one more game. All right, well, go get them, Coach. Hey, you know, best of luck against Auburn. And, uh, boy, like I said at the beginning, no one I'd rather be in the trenches grinding with than Dave Esker. Thanks so much for a few minutes and continued success with the program. Thanks, Vern. I appreciate it.